Hello, Randy Rain here, and this time I have the cutest thing I've done so far. This is the Tommy Sylvania family's little animatronic bear. Now, I could do a whole video on Sylvania families, just the history of it. Well, I couldn't, but somebody could. It's pretty fascinating. Sylvanian families were started by a company in Japan called Epoch, I think is how you pronounce it. And then Tomy got the rights to it, and they started to distribute them around the world. Then in 1985 and 86, these came out in the U.S. and Canada. And if you look down here, it says, Tomy, a subsidiary of Coleco. Now, that's the first I've heard of them being connected with Coleco, but I looked it up, and it's true. They did partner with Coleco. And if you want to see something fascinating, go look up Coleco. It started off as the Connecticut Leather Company. But anyway, what this is, is just a little animatronic bear, and it's just sound activated. Every time it hears sounds, the little mouth moves, and the eyes will blink as well. You get a little tape with it that you're supposed to play, and it tells the story, and as the sound plays, it looks like the little bear is telling you the story. Now, if this one's not working, and if you open up the battery compartment, you can see that it is very corroded inside. So I'm sure that has a lot to do with why it's not working. But there's probably some gears in there that could be broken or something. But come on, we got to see how she works. So got to take the little dress off and take her apart. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and desolder these. It says positive and negative on there, so be easy to put back. And now these will pop out. Alright, this stuff seems to work pretty good. Look how corroded it is. If you only knew how much I love stuff like this. So we have a little motor here and a gear. I noticed that this gear here is split. So let's go ahead and take this apart. First, we'll have to undo the spring. Pop these eyes out. Okay, that would be the tin tooth gear. This one moved kind of easy. Let me look at this. That gear is cracked as well. But I'm pretty sure I have this one. I think that's it. Looks like the same one. That'll work. Pretty sure we're getting somewhere. And we have this gear, which rides on this one. Oh yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Okay, now to see about getting this thing back together. Very confusing. And I know this gear goes here, and there's a spring, and this is pretty much the action. It looks like the motor is just going to turn on, move this lever, and then turn off and go back. So it's just on, off, on, off, on, off is all it seems to be going to be doing. And so that pushes on the bottom lip, which pushes on this mouth 
here. Then you have the eyes, but I think you can put the eyes on last. And okay, this is a tricky one. Okay. Let's leave those off for now, then let's get everything in place. Okay, so it's going to go in. Like that, there it is. So then this will slip in like that. And then this one. This one slip in there like that. Go ahead and put the screws in, or at least one. Okay, and the eyes. And we got this little spring here. By the way, that was a 12 tooth gear. All right, let's have a look here. Here's what it's reduced down to. Well, that one looks good. This one needs some scraping. I uh, have chrome platings coming off. Go back in. Like this one. This looks good. These are like chrome plated and some of the chrome has come off of it from the corrosion and we're down to bare copper. So there was two singles both connected to positive and negative and for some reason it's always negative that corrodes. So I'm going to put this on positive. I'll put this clean one on negative. And on this side, on this double here, it was the negative that corroded. I can't flip that around though. Well, I guess I should clean up the corrosion around here first. the microphone it goes in the belly this piece went like that can't forget the manufacturing tag as well Moment of truth. All right, it's on. Hey, not getting anything. Okay, it still seems like it's not getting electricity. Again here. That's on. First of all, let's just test here, here. Yeah, there's electricity there. What about this past the switch. Yeah, there's electricity there. That side. But not on that one. 
What's going on? Oh, that's the motor. So electricity's getting to the circuit board. I wonder if it's working and it's not turning this motor on. Oh, there it goes. And that's stopping. I'm going to re-solder. Hello? 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 All right. I'm going to re-solder that. She's working, so let's listen to her story on tape. For a tape player, I have an Omnibot 2000 here. enjoyed this video if you did please give me a like if you want to see more like this please subscribe I want to thank these people right here these are the patrons I couldn't be talking without them so thank you very much and goodbye <laughs> Sylvanian family storyteller. Maybe you don't know about the Sylvanian families.